I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet these velvet mittens, which I have one in front of me here. I'll just slip it on there so you can zoom out so you can see it a little bit better. So this is the velvet mittens. It's made with a velvet yarn. In the video today I'm going to be using the Bernat Crushed Velvet in the colors Soft Grey and Cream. You're going to need about uh, 300 yards of the first color, which is my cream, so your color A, about 300 yards of it, and then only about 30 yards of your color B, which in my mittens here is this soft gray, so it just adds a little pop of color and accent. So you're going to need about 300 yards and that will give you the pair of mittens. Uh, you're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And the written pattern can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I will put the direct link for you in the description of this video. The pattern includes three sizes, uh, size small, medium and large uh, to fit a women's size small medium and large now they do have quite a bit of stretch as you can see here so actually when I was testing them out I had my husband who is 6'6 six, six, uh, try them on and actually he uh, there was enough stretch for him to actually wear the mittens so and this is a size medium that I'm showing you here so they do have quite a bit of stretch to them uh, they're quite comfortable very very cozy and uh, feature a little bit of texture here this texture coordinates with the velvet headband pattern which I also designed to go with these mittens and it, you can find that here on my YouTube channel as well. So uh, let's get our yarn and our hook and we'll get started. Now thank you so much for joining me. If it is your first time to my YouTube channel or you haven't yet already, I invite you to subscribe to it. It is updated regularly with crochet patterns and then every Sunday with a free stitch tutorial. So our mitten pattern today is primarily worked in rounds when it comes to the body of the mitten. But for the cuff, which is where we are going to start, you're going to work the cuff in rows. And we're going to do a little bit of ribbing. So what you're going to do is take your 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and your color A, and you're going to make a slip knot. You're then going to start by chaining 10 or sorry 11 chains now because in my pattern I have three different sizes today in the video I'm going to only work the size small if uh, I'll try where I can to give you the updated stitch counts for the other sizes but we'll work the size small in the video and then the instructions and adjustments are there in the written pattern. So start by chaining 11. This part is the same for each of the mitten patterns. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You're then going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook and in each chain all the way across. So count in, there's one, two, and it can be a little bit hard for this first row to see your stitches, but you wanna single crochet in that second chain, and then in each chain all the way across. You're going to have a total of 10 stitches. about that little bit of curling that you see it will straighten out. You're then going to chain one and turn. For row two and every row hereafter you're going to in the back work in the back loop only and single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So in that back loop only which if you look at the top of your stitch and again it's very hard to see in this velvet yarn you'll have your V up here at the top and your back loop is that horizontal bar 
that's furthest away from you. So single crochet into that back loop only and in each stitch all the way across. chain one, turn your work, and then again repeat that single crochet in the back loop only each stitch all the way across. So continue to do that until your work from the beginning measures approximately 8.5 inches for your small 9 inches for your size medium and 9.5 inches for your size large. Okay, so today I'm working this small, so I'm going to work until my pattern from the beginning, so from right here, measures 8.5 inches. And then meet me back here. Once you have your ribbing finished, the cuff, the length that you require finished, you're not going to fasten off, but you're going to chain one, and you're then going to fold the cuff over so that your two short ends meet. You're then going to join these two sides together by working in the back loops only of each side through both thicknesses and slip stitching across. So in that first stitch, in the back loop only through both thicknesses slip stitch and then continue all the way across. Once again you will have 10 slip stitches. At the end of this do not fasten off. This is my sixth. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're then going to turn your mitten cuff right side out so that your seam is on the inside and chain one. We're now going to begin working in rounds and we're going to work around the top of our mitten cuff. And if you are working the size small as I am, you're going to evenly work 20 half double crochet stitches all the way around. For the size medium, you're going to, going to work 22 and the large 24. So evenly work for the size small 20 half double crochet stitches all the way around your mitten. If you're having difficulty, just make sure that you put 10, mark the halfway point around your cuff and put 10 stitches on one side and then 10 stitches on the other. I'm just working my final half double crochet here around my cuff. At the end of this round one, you're going to want to switch to your color B. Now how I switch colors is I work the first part of the stitch. So this is my last half double crochet. I yarn over, insert my hook, and draw up a loop. Then instead of completing the stitch with my first color, I'm going to drop it. I'll pick up my color B, place it on my hook, and draw through all three loops on my hook. I'm now set to use my color B. I'm then going to join in the top with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Later on, I'll go back and secure it. Because I'm going to go back fairly quickly to my color A, I'm not going to fasten off my color A at this time. So I'm just going to drop it and let it hang there. I'm now going to, for round two, I'm now right into the mitten body. With my color B, I'm going to chain one and half double crochet in each stitch 
all the way around. I'm going to work over top of my little tail here to help kind of seal it in there a little bit. So half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. If you're working your size small, you'll have a total of 20 stitches, 22 for your size medium, and 24 for your size large. the end of your round two you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. For round three you're going to chain one and we're now going to work in the third loop of our stitches all the way around. To find the third loop if you take a look at the top of your stitch you have this V here. If you turn your work forward a little bit so you're now looking at the back of your work and it's hard to see in this, you will see that there is a another horizontal bar just below the top of your stitches there. So this is the top of my stitch and then just down below I have another horizontal bar. I'm looking at the back side of my work. This is your third loop. So you're going to be working into that bar. So half double crochet into it, again pull your work forward, insert your hook only under that second horizontal bar and work your stitch. You're going to do that all the way around. As you get the first few worked, it makes it much easier to see. And what it's going to do is it's going to push the top of your stitch forward just to give it a little bit of a knit look. So half double crochet in the third loop all the way around. At the end of this round you're going to switch back to your color A then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You can leave your color B attached because you'll be picking it up again later on. At the end of round three, I've now switched back to my color A. I'm going to chain one and I'm joined with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. You will only turn your work for the body of this mitten twice. So this is the first time you're going to turn your work. We're now going to work that strip of bobble stitch texture. So the first thing you're going to do is into your first stitch, work one single crochet and then bobble into the next stitch. To work your bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that for a total of th uh, for three more times, so you'll have a total of five loops on your hook. So that was the first time, all into the same stitch. That's two, three, and four. Once you have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops and then single crochet into the next stitch. If you look on the right side, you will see that bobble texture popping out there. You're then going to bobble into the next stitch. So once again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Do that three more times. You'll have a total of five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops, and single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Bobble followed by single crochet. At the end of this round, you're going to switch back to your color B and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. Your final stitch in this round four is going to be a bobble stitch 
And then as I mentioned before, actually I'm going to go back here and you're going to switch back to your color B. So just uh, before completing my bobble stitch, I have the five loops on my hook and I pull through my color B so that I'm all set to go. You're then going to join your yarn with a slip stitch. I'm gonna make sure my yarn stays back there. Join your yarn with a slip stitch in the top of that first single crochet. You're then going to chain one and turn your work once again. For now, now for round five, we're going to work a half double crochet stitch into each single crochet and into each bobble stitch all the way around. So again, at the end of this round, you will have a total of 20 stitches, 20 half double crochets if you're working that small, 22 for your medium, and 24 for your large. Half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of round five, join your yarn with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. Chain one, and we're now going to work in our third loops again and half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So yarn over, find that third loop on the back side of your work and work into it, one in each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to switch back to your color A and you can completely uh, fasten off and weave in the ends of your color B because we will be finished with it after this round. So in the third loop, half double crochet, each stitch all the way around, switch to your color A, fasten off your color B, and uh, weave in your ends, and then be sure to join your color A with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Now for round seven and eight, you're going to chain one, and this is for all sizes. You're going to half double crochet with your color A in each stitch all the way around, and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So work two rounds in your color A of half double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around. So I've now worked two rounds of half double crochet stitches in my color A. For round nine, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work a little bit of an increase. In that first stitch, the same stitch as joining, I'm going to work two half double crochet stitches. So both of them in the same stitch. And then half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. If you are working your size small, you'll have a total of 21 stitches, 23 stitches for your size medium, and 25 for your size large. For round 10, you're going to chain one and you're going to increase once again so work two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch as joining. And then one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of your round 10, you will have 22 stitches for your size small, 24 for your size medium, and 26 for your size large. Join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. So now at the end of your round 10, if you are working your size medium and large mittens, you're going to do one more increase round. So for the size medium and large, two half double crochets in that first stitch, then half double crochet in each all the way around and join with a slip stitch. At the end of that round, uh, you will have a total of 25 
half double crochet stitches for your medium and 27 for your half double crochet uh, half double crochets for your size large again your size small will only have 22 then for your next round you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in each of the next 18 stitches for your size small 20 stitches for your size medium and 22 for your size large so half double crochet for your size small in the first 18 20 for the medium and 22 for your large Once you have your half double crochets worked, you're going to chain two, skip those remaining stitches, and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. And that brings you to the end of that round. Your next round, you're going to chain one, and you're going to half double crochet in each stitch and each chain all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch so for your small you'll have a total of 20 stitches 22 for your medium and 24 for your large so chain one and half double crochet in each stitch and chain all the way around it's going to leave an opening here and that's going to be your thumb opening that we will work once we've completed the body of the mitten Your ne next, you're going to work that upper part of the mitten. So for your size small, which is what I'm working, you're going to work four rounds of half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. So for the size small, you're going to work four rounds of half double crochets. For the size medium, you're going to work five rounds. And for the size large, you will work six rounds. Half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Once you have worked your rounds of half double crochet stitches, you'll have something that looks like this. This is my thumb hole here and then I've worked the top of my mitten. We're now going to start our decrease rounds. For the first decrease round, you're going to chain one. You're going to half double crochet two together. So to do that, yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five. That's your half double crochet two together. You're then going to half double crochet in each of the eight. The next eight if you're working the small, nine if you're working the medium, and ten if you're working the large uh, stitches. So the small, work the first eight. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight half double crochet two together and then half double crochet in each of the remaining stitches join your yarn with a slip stitch into that first stitch Your next round, you'll continue your decrease, chain one, half double crochet two together, then half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches for your small, eight for your medium, and nine for your large. half double crochet two together 
and then half double crochet in each of the remaining stitches and join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Your next round, half double crochet, two together, half double crochet in each of the next six stitches for your small, seven for your medium, and eight for your large. Then half double crochet two together, half double crochet in each of the remaining stitches to the end, and join with the slip stitch into that first stitch. Your final decrease round, chain one, half double crochet two together, then half double crochet in each of the next five stitches for your small, six for your medium, and seven for your large. Half double crochet two together. Half double crochet in each of the remaining stitches. And join with the slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. You're then going to fasten off, leaving a fairly long tail. And then you can either go ahead now or afterward and use that long tail to sew the top of your mitten closed. What I did was I turned my mitten inside out, I just did a running stitch, sewed it closed, and weaved in my ends. So that's the top of your mitten. Next you're going to go back and work the thumb. So you've left this thumb hole here. You're going to take some more of your color A and you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into each, uh, into any half double crochet around that thumb hole. So I'm just going to join mine right here, join it with a slip stitch, and you're all set to go. You're then going to chain one, and for your small thumb, you're going to evenly work eight half double crochets all the way around, uh, nine for your medium, and ten for your large. So it won't, they won't fall perfectly. You're just going to simply place them as you can evenly around. Eight for your small, nine for your medium, and 10 for your large. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. It can be a little tricky to work because it is a very small opening. This is number six for me. Seven and eight for my size small. And join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Chain one. You're then going to work three rounds of half double crochets in each stitch all the way around for your small. For your medium you're going to enlarge. For your medium you're going to work a total of four more rounds and for your large a total of five more rounds. So go ahead and work uh, either three, four, or five rounds of half double crochets in each stitch all the way around 
and you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you've worked either three, four, or five rounds of half double crochet stitches, you've joined in that first stitch, you're going to fasten off, once again, leaving a long tail, and then you're going to use the top of that tail to close the top of your uh, mitten thumb. And that's all there is to working this pattern. Now these ones are a little bit small for me because I, I have a larger hand. But um, that's all there is to working this pattern. Go ahead, sew the top of your thumb closed and uh, then enjoy your velvet mittens. So thank you so much for joining me. I invite you to subscribe if you haven't yet already and I look forward to seeing you again. Happy crocheting, bye.